Hello and welcome to another Demis Helen tutorial. We are looking at Utility by Venn Audio. This is a stereo widening tool. Uh, it is based on mid and side. I'm not going to go into that in great detail, but I have some previous videos on mid and side. Uh, so go and take a look at them and there are various other ones, but we're not going to go into great detail. Um, what we're using this for is if you just ignore pretty much everything to this point here, this bottom section for stereo widening. So just a quick overview, um, mid and side, mid is your center audio, your mono side of the audio, and then stere uh, stereo, side is your details that are on the far extremes of your stereo spectrum. Uh, and I'll demonstrate that now once I activate this plugin. Uh, and that's the bit we're gonna focus on to widen the stereo. So let's take a listen. This is without utility on, and this is with it on. Okay, so it does make it sound a little bit more full, gives you an impression that there's more space being taken up by the sound. If we turn it off again, you'll hear it shrink back into the middle, almost sounding mono. So if you were to close your eyes with your headphones, that sound is coming from pretty much at the front of the middle of your head. And then when you turn this on, it kind of spreads out from the center and enhances the side details. So, we aren't going to look at the top. Uh, it's just, it's more geared towards uh, sorting your mastering channels out and sorting bus channels out as well. Uh, there's many purposes for it, but we are just focusing on this bit to widen the stereo. So, if we was to play this and just turn off the side channel, you just get the straight forward, straight down the middle mono audio. And you can boost the volume we can apply a high pass and a low pass. That does affect both channels. And you've got an overall width in the middle. The more you go to the left, it becomes mono. And the more you go to the right, it becomes more side channel. And obviously, all side channel. So if we was to mute the mid channel, that is all your stereo detail. All the little sparkly bits that happen on the far edges of your mix. And this is the bit that we're going to enhance to make it sound wider. So as you can see, I have done a slight boost here uh, compared to here. Turn them both back on. And I have boosted just this bit here. So let's turn it off. So apart from the volume level, you can hear that it shrinks back into the middle and then it spreads back out. Uh, and with this being a free tool, it is a very powerful tool to make sure your synths sound wider. Um, let's put this into context here. And turn it off. You lose all the detail in the reverb and the delay. Uh, you don't have the outer edges of the synth sparkling. And then when we put it back on, you'll hear those things come back and it'll fill the space a little bit more. great way to subtly just increase your mix's presence uh, and that's just done on the side channel for the um, for the melodies minus one uh, which is this gray one because I haven't added it into the uh, mix yet for the bus channel and I don't know why we're beach balling but it'll stop there we are and that's just enough to get the mix lifted off the floor very gently uh, you can apply it to hats, claps, you can apply it to your pad synths and everything like that. Um, it's not just limited to uh, bus channels for synths, basically. So that's just a quick overview of how to widen the stereo. Uh, it's a very short video. It's part of the March Marathon. So I'll put the link to the free download for this preset in the description. So thank you very much for watching. Like, comment and hit subscribe if you're not already. Uh, two videos per week and I respond to every single comment that comes through. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.